Rangers sit seven points behind Celtic here on Saturday afternoon and Michael Beale may have thought it was a turning point against Real Betis but I think he's yet to go over that hurdle but a lot of people think it is a turning point a lot of people are still splitting a lot of people still think we're garbage a lot of people still think we're dross and a lot of people are writing off the league and uh, I said that after the old firm and you're watching Celtic today makes you realise how much of a missed opportunity that old firm was. But anyway, going back to the channel, it's time to return to the action with the Scottish Premiership. Of course, great result against Bess. I'm no denial, denying about that. But I think the first half performance was shite. I'm not going to gloss over it. People have said that, very negative saying that, but I don't think it is. Like, I think if you actually watch the game, you would realise that we were shite. And fair play to people. You know what? He, must, he said something to them. He said something to them at half time. Managed to turn it around. But for me... Like, how, how many games can we go with under Michael Beale where we are just not ready in the first half and then we have to come out the second half and have it all to do? You can't you can't do that. You know, if you're to win things, you're not going to be doing that. You, you, you cannot start 1-0 doing. And so many... It's 1-0 doing with 45 to go. Like, so many of the early games under Beale were pretty much that way. We concede and then we'd score late on or two late on or something. You can't, you can't start 1-0 doing... Um, in terms of fresh injury news, though, of course, Tom Lawrence, uh, he limped off. Um, and then, well, I say limped off, he, he walked around the pitch limping. Uh, the guy sat beside me, he said, fuck him, I'm not clapping him because he's, he's not even played 10 games for us. So a lot of people were clapping Tom Lawrence as he walked through. I mean, I think he had a good game against Betis, but um, yeah, man, the guy looks injury prone. And he, no, he didn't even look, he, he wasn't, he's never been injury prone. Comes to us, gets that big injury. Hell, maybe he was just run off his feet, man. Maybe like he's just not up to full fitness and throwing him in to start a game is throwing him into the deep end, potentially. Um, I guess you could argue the same for Roof. I mean, he's literally played every game since he's came back into starting 11, which makes me think that he, he could be getting rested soon. I mean, Roof is good. Like, I've said it before. See, Kamar Roof, he's, he's brilliant. He, he is really great. It's just the fitness. And we are just sitting here. It's a ticking time bomb. We are just sitting here waiting for this guy to go down. And that's him. That is him out injured. And, uh, you know, that's the reality. I, I don't want to... I'm not going to lie to anyone and say that, yeah, you know, life's great because we've got Kamar Roof up front. Because it is just a case um, that this guy is probably going to drop at any point And uh, it's going to be all over, of course. Uh, we do have the likes of Cantwell, Raskin, uh, Kieran Doyle out, I, I, I suspect... A very similar team to what played against Betis. Don't really know what changes he'd make. I mean, maybe he would put Dessers in over... Maybe, would he put Dessers in over Roof? I'm not too sure, but, you know, Motherwell, fantastic form. They did lose to St Mirren, but there's no shame in that. They played really good. Them and St Mirren have been, you know, the, the stars of the Scottish Premiership so far, um, in my opinion. But for us, it's must win. Beale's got to win every game this international break and see where that leaves us. That's as it's as simple as that for Michael Beale. And you know what? That win on Thursday should really give this team confidence. It really should take fire us to an another level. But we'll have to wait and see because let's be real. Like it, it could just be the same shite on Sunday. It could be tomorrow. It, it could be the, the, the first 45 is dead and then we come back and salvage it in the second half and we win. But for me, that's not good enough, man. You should be blowing teams away, right? In like the first 45 and then going into the second half, it's like, all right, can we make changes? They rest these players that, you know, are so injury prone. But instead, we're dragging the arse out of it and we'll have to wait and see. But as for Motherwell, good start, as I've said. But I think Rangers will win. Earlier on in the, the Fog Football preview show, I went with 2-1 Rangers. I think it'll be close. I don't think it'll be a masterclass from Rangers in any shape or form. So I am going to go for 2-1. That is it. Uh, who's going to get the goals? I'm going to go for Kamar Roof and Tav. It seems like it's been a while um, since Captain Tav actually got a goal. So that's what I'm going to go for in that one. I'm going to go for him to get it. I mean, as for Motherwell, you know, I thought they were affected by Fanfine leaving, but fuck it, if anything. I mean, imagine imagine Motherwell with Fanfine's goals this season. Fucking hell. It'll be almost unstoppable, but it'll be a tough one. Well, I, I actually expect this game to be tougher than Betis, to a degree, because I think Betis... For decent first half, but second half in that game, I thought they were pretty, pretty poor. But we'll have to wait and see, guys. Refuel will be at the morrow. But until then, check out EFC24.
three career mode parts are uploaded and a few simulations in there as well. But until then, peace.